and welcome to the Betway E Cricket Challenge here from the Gfinity Arena. Now, with real life cricket being suspended around the world, we've decided to get some of the biggest names in the game together to flex their competitive muscles in the virtual world by taking each other on in a five over game. This is bound to bring some laughs, some entertainment, and most of all, bragging rights for the winner. I'm glad to say today we are joined by the West Indies batting prodigy, Mr. Nicholas Puran. He's going to be taking on one of the world's fastest bowlers in Tamal Mills of England. I cannot wait to get to it. And joining me, as always, one of the safest pair of hands in the business, literally because he's a wicketkeeper, Mark Hatcher. Uh, Mark, uh, we have got such a battle on our hands today. Uh, it's intriguing, right? It's intriguing. It's always great to see these, uh, you know, these international standard cricketers going up against each other on the virtual pitch. We've got a bowler versus a batsman, which always find fascinating to see how their skills are going to transfer over into the virtual pitch, how they try and approach the game. So uh, it's certainly going to be exciting. It's certainly going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, indeed. Now, obviously, as a wicketkeeper, uh, Nicholas, would you be able to offer him some sort of uh, key advice at any point today? Uh, maybe on the virtual pitch. It'd probably be better if he advises me the other way if we, <laughs> I've, I've got a bat or a pair of gloves on. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick to maybe, you know, if he asks me for some advice, maybe I'll look to give him some, but I think he'll definitely outshine me when it comes to the cricket pitch. Yeah, and, and Samar Mill is one of the fastest bowlers out there. 93.3 miles per hour. He bowled out Chris Gale. I'm going to be asking him about that. But before we get to that, uh, let's talk about the format of the game, Mark. Uh, very simply, uh, this is a five-over game. There's no time to set yourself into the, into the game and bat out slowly, is there? No, we want action. We want excitement. So five overs is all you get. And to be bowled out, you only have to lose five wickets. So you're kind of calving the amount of wickets you normally have to take and the amount that you have in the hutch as well. So you've got to be a little bit careful that you don't give those wickets away too early. But scoring runs is the name of the game. And if you're bowling, obviously, dot balls is everything as well as wicket so uh, it sets it up for a very intriguing and exciting format yeah and, and obviously if you've got a really fast bowler on your team you can only use him once because you get one over each for each uh, different bowler plus i mean i'm not going to ask you this we've seen a lot any tactics that that, that would help uh, one of these guys win today uh, a lot of what can be applied in the real game can be transferred over into the virtual game as well so things in you know limited over cricket like you know changing your pace up a little bit varying your lengths making yourself unpredictable if you're bowling and if you've got the bat in your hand, take some risks. I'm just saying, look where there's no fielders on the boundary, where there's no sweepers. Try and hit those boundaries because you can score runs very, very quickly. All right. Well, listen, let's find out as we meet uh, today's competitors. Uh, Nicholas Puran, uh, great to have you uh, on the show today. Uh, I've got to ask, uh, how are you doing? Um, all, all is fine with me, man, for now. You're looking around just you. Just enjoying some video game. You're looking around you. Uh, Enjoying uh, some quality time home. Yeah, are you with family at the moment? <laughs> How are you coping with the current situation? Uh, not much we can do. Just stay home, find something for doctors to do. You no, know, yeah. clear the head a bit. Yeah, uh, and just to remind, I mean, me and Mike were talking about it. Uh, your highest ODI century versus Sri Lanka in the Cricket World Cup. Do you, do you, uh, have you watched it back on YouTube at any point yet? Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen that enough times now. Um, <laughs> I need to watch another video now. <laughs> OK. Uh, and obviously looking to get back and, and start playing. Uh, and I have to ask, um, obviously with this time off, it uh, gives you the chance to rehabilitate and, and get yourself back to absolute match fitness as soon as possible. How has that been going? Have you been staying on your training regime? Yeah, I've been doing some, you know, I've been online doing some Zoom work with my trainers. Um, I had some niggles, some, a bit of injuries the last couple of months. I've been playing cricket for the last 12 months. So it's a good time for my body to rest now. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing fine. OK, well, that's good. Now, Mark and I are curious to know, in terms of the game, have you been putting in much practice? No, no just physical work, that's all. Rehab. OK, all right. Well, uh, no pressure on you then today, Nicholas. Uh, you've got a, a big uh, mountain to climb because I know your competitor today, uh, Tamara Mills. Uh, uh, how are you doing, sir? Great to have you on the show. You've had a bit of practice before in this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was another tournament on the game that was, that was held recently, so I was, I was involved in that. That was about a month ago. Um, I, hadn't, I haven't played since, so I'm uh, just trying to dust, dust it all off now. Yeah, indeed, and uh, up against uh, a tough competitor. Here. Have you have you played against in, in, in a real life uh, against Nicholas? Yeah, a little bit. We played against each other in in the T10. Um, I'm sure in a, in a few other tournaments as well. You lose count. Uh, you lose um, track of the amount of different tournaments you play in. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's he's taken me down on a few occasions out, out on the pitch. 
Yeah, and indeed. Now, uh, uh, we were watching it. I mentioned to Nicholas if he's watched his uh, ODI century against Sri Lanka. I have watched uh, your bowling absolute uh, tearing up uh, for Sussex. Uh, Chris Gale, 93.3 miles an hour. That is a pretty uh, juicy ball right there. <laughs> yeah, it was a few years ago now. Again, as uh, as Poran said, I think everybody's sick to death of it now. So uh, I've uh, I've definitely seen it seen it more than once. Okay, and and what are your tactics for for taking out uh, Nicholas today? Um, he hasn't played much of the game. You've you've got a bit more experience. You're not going to be complacent at any point, are you? <laughs> no, I'll try not to be. I just I, I was I was hit and miss at the game, so I pretty much just try and hit every ball for six. So um, I'll, I'm sure I'll just keep trying to do that this time as well. OK, and in terms of which ball to hit for a six mark, uh, any advice for Tamar? I can't give him advice this early. Come on, okay. come on. Come on. We're, we're going to let them play the game and maybe afterwards <laughs> when the result's been settled, we can have a chat about that. All right, well, listen, Tamar, really looking forward to it. Great to have you on board, uh, as well as Nicholas as well. So best Jesus. of luck. Uh, so, Mark, there you go. Um, yeah. They seem fired up. They, they seem sort of relaxed about this. Um, that's really going to hurt Nicholas if he hasn't put much practice in the game. But I'm hoping he ramps the volume up on the banter between him and Tamar. Well, you say that but there's a thing called the honeymoon period right which is where you pick up something new and all of a sudden you sort of find yourself very good at it before you overthink what you're doing so I think keep it simple enjoy the honeymoon period and you know there's a real opportunity here if you get some runs on the board especially if you bat first to put some pressure on so uh, yeah don't count them out quite yet okay well listen as we know uh, with this uh, challenge and the, the sometimes it's best to bat first or is it best to bowl first mark what would you say seeing on our, based on uh, our current results me I am always a runs on the board guy, right? Put the pressure on your opponent, get out to a good start, make sure that you've got that score up that he's got to chase and he's thinking, you know, do I want to, you know, bring the run rate down early? Do I want to score boundaries early? I'm going to leave it till late on. Put those thoughts in his head. Get in to bat first, I would say. Get into bat, get the runs on the board, put the pressure on your opponent. OK, I'd say bowl first. But anyway, listen, uh, we'll disagree all day. Uh, listen, let's get to it then. Uh, Nicholas Puran, Tamar Mills. Let's go to the toss to find out who is going to be batting or bowling first. Here we are then, heading to the Sydney Cricket Ground, England versus the West Indies. This should be a very exciting game for us today then. Uh, Mark, you reckon going with the bat, get some runs on the board, whereas I personally Over say, the bowl them out, and then you've got less to, uh, to worry about batting. Well, I mean, both of those would be ideal in those <laughs> situations, regardless of if you're batting or bowling, but we do have the toss going down, you can see it here, and it is going to be the West Indies. And Nicholas Puran, who win the toss, and it looks like he's going to elect to have a bat. So he's with me, Tom. He agrees with my advice. It's all Listen, the same. It's all don't the same, start mate. that, otherwise I'll it's start supporting saying. one player, you'll start supporting another. <laughs> uh, there you go. So he's going to, to bat uh, first is uh, Nicholas Puran. And, uh, and he's going to go with your philosophy, try and get as many runs on the board as possible. However, uh, if he hasn't played much of the game, th this, this might not necessarily go according to plan. I mean, it's one thing to have a plan, it's one thing to execute your plan, right? And I'm yeah. sure that they'll know that in-game in when they play in real life as well. So that's all up to Nicholas to, to do the business here and get those runs on the board. But you can see the game is ready to go now. And it's going to be Chris Wokes who's going to be opening the bowling here. What time on, Mills? You can change, you can choose yourself to come in next or whatever. And it's always interesting to see the players who haven't got too much experience in the game, how they approach this. Are they going to go for all or nothing? And it looks like early on, a stroke on the up through the covers and immediately and off the mark here, Tom. How about that? Uh, great start. And, and just heard there, uh, Tamar and uh, Nicholas talking about the fact that Nicholas can, um, if he loses a wicket, he can bring himself in. <laughs> I mean, it's always a good thing. It always yeah, is a good thing. Do you know what I mean? If you, lose, you don't want to lose yourself early on, you want to make sure you're there at the end hitting the big uh, boundaries to get that. Well, we saw that, that with Glenn Maxwell, didn't we? I mean, he, he was adamant that he was going to come on, lost the wicket just so he could play himself. Well, this is interesting, moving himself around the crease. Moving around oh. the crease and oh, the bowler saw him. So, well played. That one flew through, 91.4 mile an hour. So that's going to be a dot ball. And Chris Wokes might have a little bit of a... Have to have a stretch after that one, having uh, broken the 90 mile an hour barrier. 
third ball of the innings. And here comes Wokes again. It's going to be a short ball and it's going to be turned around the corner here and it's going to go fine. And that's going to be four <laughs> runs here. I'm not sure if it came off the bat glove or if it's just by his <laughs> keeper. I've got to be disappointed with that. I've got to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't fancy uh, standing no behind Come the stumps with the gloves on if Tim was running in and hitting no. the uh, gloves pretty hard. No, definitely not. But uh, Nicholas enjoying that. First boundary. You take it. Three balls. A run rate of 10 at the moment. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? What? That was a very that? confident batsman who doesn't even play, um, play a, right. a shot there. Yeah, I mean, he moved across uh, way outside the off stump, maybe just looking to work it towards the leg side, and the ball was there to do that. The only issue was he didn't play a stroke. <laughs> so uh, the umpire decided not to give that one a wide, as we do see a beautiful oh, shot here right. over mid-wicket. He's picked that one beautifully, <laughs> and he's cleared the boundary, and out of nowhere, six runs on the board. What did that say about this honeymoon period, Tom? Well, it's definitely Jeez, happening boy. right now, 110 yards. Who shot that is? Let's see where you're going to bowl again, buddy. So, a run rate here of 13.2 <laughs> off of the first over. And it's going to be no, a short ball, four, popped four. up in the air, it hit the body, I think. I think that was a, the classic fast bowler's response, shall I say. When you hit for a boundary, you dig it in and you try and get your revenge. No ball. No ball. No so ball. Next ball. Oh. <laughs> Free hit here as well. <laughs> We've already seen that Nicholas can clear the boundary, and now he's got the opportunity to try and do it again. Oh, oh, well oh boy, come on, man. Can't swing, can't swing too much. Well, what a start for Nicholas. 13 runs off the first over. We'll see if he can push for a big score when we return. Welcome back to the Betway E Cricket Challenge where Nicholas Purant has made a lightning start in his game against Tamar Mills. So let's get right back to the action. This has been a great start here for Nicholas. You have to say, 13 runs off the board off the first over. This could be, you know, on par for the highest score that we've had so far. So if he continues with that kind of form, he's going to be laughing going into that second innings. But it's down to uh, Timur now to turn things around and put the pressure back onto his opponent and uh, he's got Joffre Archer with the ball in hand. What a player to have. Yeah, indeed. Oh. Little shimmy. He's got under oh, it. There is a man yeah, back here. Get down. Has he got enough for <laughs> him to clear the boundary? Yes, yeah, he has. Before the match. 98 <laughs> mile an hour out of the hand and even quicker off the bat. Six runs. 98 mile an hour. Ooh. Easy, Joe. Easy. That's got a long way. Come on, Tim. <laughs> Are you going to bowl me here now? Yeah, shuffling around in the crease again. This needs to be a tactic. And, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of gamesmanship there. We've got to love it. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Good one. <laughs> now it's up to Nicholas to not lose concentration. What's time we've got up his sleeve? What's he going to go for here? Is he going to be full and straight? Is he going to be short again? It looks like he's going to dig one in. And right. That looks a little bit wayward to me. I think the umpire might have to stretch those arms. And there it is. It's going to be a wide. Another ball to face as well. I hope here. 12 off six. So run rate of 200. Strike rate, should I say. And there's that full straight ball. Well bowled. A little outswing up. He will steal a single here. So this really has been an impressive start here with the bat. You know, Nicholas is probably thinking about bowling now. You know, he's thinking, I've got I'm going my way to a really good score here. He's thinking ahead of himself and he's thinking, I'm feeling comfortable. And for Tomo, he's kind of thinking, oh, oh, I'm going to have to bat incredibly God. well. And this could be another God. maximum here. It's gone all the way. Ah. And it's raining sixes in this game. <laughs> Tomorrow, Mills. Don't be hard for himself. But I tell you what, thank you very much for making it entertaining for all us fans watching this. We like to see a big score, but he's got to back himself yes, with the bat. Yeah. yeah, he's got to back himself. I just want to just comment on Owen Morgan there in the in the game as well. Just saying, just come a little bit straight. It doesn't matter where it doesn't matter where that fielder is. It went absolutely miles. He could have been 20 rows back and still not got a hand on that one. And again, this time he goes 
Square on the Catch offside. It, there is a man there out there. Go. Has he taken it? There's the first wicket I'll, of the I'll game. Like, <laughs> going for the big shot again. And finally, uh, a little bit of success here choose. for Tim or Mills. Oh, okay, cool. that. Wow, man. Almost, almost, almost from the gap. Good catch. That's a great catch in the deep. Made good ground to get across. Oh, here he is, the big, the, the big dog. <laughs> Correct. Finally, oh, it's good. So now we have okay. Nicholas Puran controlling himself in game. Can he continue with the kind of form we've seen so far as Joffre Archer Ooh. approaches the crease and fires it through 97.9 mile an hour. Oh. That's oh. quick. Peace, boy. Easy, hopey. Easy, hopey. <laughs> so we'll have a little bit of a response here. From Tamar Mills. Oh, now yeah. he's going around the wicket, changing the angle. This is what I want to see. Being a little bit unpredictable. This time he's going to hit a good length and just oh, worked off his legs here. Plus four. Has he got enough on it? Oh, oh beautiful yeah, timing yeah. as well. <laughs> and that's run away for yeah, four see, runs. Buddy. Wow. Jesus. I, need, I think I need to make 100 in order to bowl because I have some, <laughs> some mixed again. Oh man, how do you bat spin? Here we go. Our first <laughs> question, we've seen it a lot in oh, the Betway E Cricket Challenge. How Come do you bat against like... spin? Come on, boy. You like Another spin. change Come of on. pace, like you mentioned. Adil Rashid into the attack, the leg break bowler. First ball on strike done, here for Nicholas Puran as well. Uh... Rashid in. Bowls. This one fired down the leg side. It looked like it might have been a googly, and it's gone straight to the man. And again, a change of pace. Done, done, Good change the game here. Was Another you? wicket. Was that, was that poor hand first ball? And a duck. <laughs> a first ball. Golden duck for My Nicholas Puran. With Nicholas Puran in game, maybe not quite the story we would have wanted to write. The controller has been thrown down. I've just noticed What's that, that is a gold right? controller. <laughs> straight Catch to Joffre off. Archer. <laughs> <laughs> again, spin making the difference here. That'll be Rashid in again. Fires this one in. Ooh, late on that one. Where's this? How the bat spin, right? And a dot ball. <laughs> so a wicket and a dot ball. Let's, let's and again, these, what we'll call the middle overs in five over cricket. <laughs> I was just going to say, I mean, th this is changes the pace. It puts the pressure right back on. The batsman going for the sweep there. And a reverse sweep attempt. Bowling delay, bowling delay. Another dot ball. Pressure is building and Rashid is making the difference. The run rate still up at 12.4 though. And finally, he oh, gets hold clear. of one. Has he got hold of yeah. it enough? There sure. is a man back there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the time in his back <laughs> and the boundary is once again cleared. Six runs on the ball for the West Indies. Man. And the biggest boundary Shut there, 116 it. yards Shut of boy. this innings. A shot indeed. I feel like it would look much better if uh, on, it was buddy. from Nicholas Piran making that Come shot on, in buddy. the game. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he would agree with you. <laughs> here we go. So around the wicket. Another shuffle in the crease here. Trying to change the angles. Look at where's open in the field. Rashid comes in. And he'll be worked off his legs. That will just nice, be nice, a single, nice. I believe. So that man just patrolling the no. leg well, side fine. boundary. <laughs> so just one to finish after the fireworks previously. And the last ball of the over Let's now. Let's try something here. He's going to try something, I heard. Here we go. Oh, He's tried right. something. And what it's no resulted in is it looked good, it looked pretty, ah. but it resulted in no runs. Don't do it, Mark. <laughs> uh, two overs left. Go for it in this over or, or just ease back a little bit and go for it in the last over? Well, he's still got a few wickets in hand as well, so he can afford to maybe press the accelerator a little bit quicker than he would have previously, but he's just popped one up in the air here and there's a man there, but it just drops short fired in so it will just be one off. but that you're right timing when you want to go on the accelerator is always difficult in these short over formats but to be honest with you Nicholas kind of just had his foot on the accelerator for most of his innings so <laughs> yeah. I think he's not going to change his tactics too much just heard Tamar there saying good arm uh, in the deep good arm from his fielder and you need to uh, get behind and rally your team to make sure they don't drop keep their heads, heads up yeah keep exactly. their heads up attempts that reverse sweep Ooh, again are we getting too cute <laughs> We'll let you know when Nicholas does manage to connect with one of those. <laughs> we'll keep a counter for you. 
And now Moeen comes in again. Good length ball. Again, just worked out to that man on the boundary. Jeez, Sensible batting this. Sensible batting, yeah. just it's keeping that total ticking along. Come on, Hopi. Come on, Hopi. Powell. <laughs> One six. Come on, buddy. So you can hear now Nicholas thinking about the big shot. Moeen pops it up. He does go for the big shot. Yeah, and he gets it through the covers. I think the man good will ball. cut that off. Oh, they've gone for two. Oh, no. It's a good arm. Oh. But the wicket oh, keeper no. oh, has taken his time no, to get I've those bales <laughs> off. And I'm not sure what quite has happened. Is he in? Ah, Is he out? <laughs> Just Butler might have played a blinder. <laughs> what did he do? He pulled me there, mate. Stay, hold, hold, hold. Oh, He's shit, out. I'm, out. I'm not sure. I want to see the decision here. <laughs> it's a strange run out. But it is out. <laughs> I want to say great work there, Joss. But I mean, to be honest with you, it was uh, it was unorthodox. I think we'll, we'll say from the wicket keeper. I love this. Oh Every time goodness. Nicholas loses a wicket, he turns <laughs> round. I, I'm assuming he's got some fans there watching on, cheering <laughs> yeah, him on. Yeah, they are disappointed in me right now. Disappointed. Well, he's got two wickets left. 42 runs <laughs> on the board. Set up beautifully here. 50 would be huge. 10 and over. He's going to work that one just to the man. It could be a second run out. No, run about. quick. Run about. Oh, and he manages wow. to get home just at the, the last second. And as we head into the final over, 50 runs would be a fantastic total to get on the board. Well, here's some more pace on the ball. Ooh, no. That hits the body, and it oh, looks like it would just be the one <laughs> off the body. Hey, so well bowled. Run again. Like by giving him by the umpire. Are you scratching the striking right? the body and <laughs> running down to the fine leg area? <laughs> okay, so let's see what you're gonna do here. So yeah, six more runs. Uh, we're all cheering him on now. Come on, let's make that half century. Shyrope is the man on strike as well, so he might oh, be the man to oh. reignite Jeez, this boy. innings a little bit. Is the umpire gonna? Have a little stretch there, he's not. Owen Morgan looks absolutely gutted with it in the field. Can't believe that's missed. Three balls left then. Go short this time and another dot ball. Good heat. Who is this batting, mate? Who <laughs> batting you? <laughs> Last right, ball of the huh? innings. Uh. Run rate brought down to about 9.1 now. And Nicholas needs a six off the oh, final boys. ball to get that 50 runs on the board. There's the Yorker. He's oh. got under it. Oh. And he's managed to do it. He's it. put it out of the you ground. The last ball of the innings, 141 yards, clears the boundary, puts six runs on the board, and he brings up the 50. So that is a heck of a score to put on the board. We demanded 50, we got 50. Exactly. I have to say, I, I, I want to know how Nicholas is, is, is feeling because that is a very, very competitive score. Uh, anything can happen, but I mean, 50 on the board, we weren't expecting a score that high. Yeah, I think he said that he hadn't played the game much, and I'm not quite sure about that to be <laughs> honest with you some of the shots and the timing uh, it was everything you could possibly want and he was using his cricket in brain as well if the ball wasn't there to be hit just worked it for one you yeah. know he was playing smart so there was a couple yeah. of times he definitely didn't play a shot Nicholas talk to me please uh, you must have played before 50 in your innings incredible scenes um I, I started practice 30 minutes before I started to play um so I think you're accustomed <laughs> to the conscious but I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't get more. You know, Rashid and Moin Ali kind of tie things down with me. I still have to figure out how to bat spin of it. It's <laughs> challenging. It, indeed, but I tell you what, yeah. that is a fantastic uh, first go. What did you say, Mark? It's down the, the, the period where you first get the honeymoon period. You get you the get... honeymoon period, right, with anything new, where you just sort of pick it up and you've got that natural ability with it. And uh, Nicholas has shown that there. One of the best scores we've seen so far. Yeah, uh, reverse sweep, though. That's maybe the <laughs> shot you need to, uh, to practice, Nicholas. Yeah, yeah, practice makes perfect, so I was practicing in a game. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there was a few times where you, you played no shot. You must have been confident that the ball wasn't going to hit those stats. Brain freeze. <laughs> no, brain freeze. Sorry, buddy. Brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, uh, let's get to tomorrow. Uh, what, what did you, um, you find from that uh, uh, performance there? The, the bowling wasn't quite as good as I expect you wanted it to be. Yeah, a bit disappointed, but um, yeah, he, he gave me some punishment at the start. Uh, the, the spinners, I've managed to tie him down with the spin, but what do I need? 50, 51 to win, it's going to be it's gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, how good is your batting? Uh, I mean, for Nicholas, he seemed to pick it up very quickly, but for you, can you hit that score? 
Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great to see. And, and how about that? Joffre Archer, something like, it was 97.8 miles per hour. Some of those shots, how did he hit a six off one of those? Yeah, look, you, if someone's bowling 97 miles an hour, you, you kind of hope that doesn't get hit for six. So you've got you to gotta <laughs> say fair play. But um, we'll see. We'll see how we go now. All right. Well, listen, gentlemen, uh, what we'll do right now is we'll take a break. Uh, rest up for a second, uh, because when we come back, we will see whether Tamar Mills can hit 51 to win in the Betway E Cricket Challenge. We'll see you in a second. Welcome back to the Betway E Cricket Challenge, where we have just witnessed an incredible innings from Nicholas Buran. He is taking on Tamal Mills of England. And Tamal has to step up next to see if he can score 51. But before that, we need to talk about this for a second. What a batting performance. We said, can he get to 50? Last ball of the over, bam. Yeah. Six. Last ball of the over, left it the last ball of the innings. <laughs> Six runs, uh, smashed it back down the ground. And what a way to finish it. At maximum fireworks. You saw the celebrations as well. I think he was happy with that. And 50 runs on the board, setting a target like that. It's going to be a difficult, difficult run chase in the second innings. Yeah, so Tamar has to start early, try and get runs on those board and just not lose those wickets because we've seen it so many times in the cricket uh, challenge. Yeah, I mean, you lose one wicket, that's a dot ball as well. And you don't have a lot of balls to play with and you've only got five wickets to play with as well. So knowing that you've got to score quickly and early on, it puts a lot of pressure onto you and it starts playing a little mind games with you so you've got to be very careful uh, not losing wickets early on but he's got to go early he's got to put his foot straight on the accelerator and try and score runs okay well listen uh, before Tamar Mills steps up to have his innings with the bat let's give him a bit of batting practice uh, let him take on our challenge now I say it's ours it's actually made by Mark Hatcher it's very simple uh, Tamar Mills has to score 15 runs from six delivery sounds easy but it really really isn't can Tamar Mills conquer the challenge So here we are then, the challenge been set by the one and only Mr. Mark Hatcher. 15 runs from six deliveries, England versus Australia. And this is not a batsman you like to see. Yeah, Jason Roy, one of the most destructive batsmen in the world, been struggling early on here and has to dive to make his ground. But the important thing is here, one run on the board. So a good start here, at least got one run on the board. You have to score off every ball. <laughs> if you want to be get in with an opportunity to beat the challenge and it is a tough one like we've mentioned but as you say getting off to a good start is always the best way to go about things yeah if a dot ball or you don't get that maximum oh like there pressure builds four deliveries left 14 runs save it for the last three balls just maximums yeah just entertainment you know just look like it's going to fall through your fingers and then smash it over the boundary but there's a potential ball to hit for a boundary and it's gone absolutely miles it was in the slot and it's gone all the way and what a shot that is from Tamar Mills six runs on the board perfect start Good boy So now, what's coming up next? What's the reply from the bowler going to be? And that's seven of them down, three balls to go. That one's going to be wide oh, no. off stump, and he's trying to repeat the shot. But the line from the bowler a little bit different on that occasion. They couldn't quite get hold of that, but two balls remaining. It's going to need a maximum. It's going to need a maximum, but it's still within his reaches. It's in the slot no. again, and oh, it's up in the air. It's going absolutely miles again. Does it clear the boundary? Of course it does. Someone in the crowd throw that one back. Six runs on the board. Oh, it comes down and to the final ball. Within striking distance, the challenge could be beaten. But now the pressure's on. One ball, one ball, no mistakes. What do, what do I need? Two runs to complete the challenge. Two runs. Field is up. Good contact here, and it is done. It's outside the off no. but he's going to have to run through here. Is he going to be able to get to No! He's just short. A leg by <laughs> off the last ball, but it wasn't enough. One run. The difference between 
Victory had just come in up short in the challenge. It was super close. Yeah, listen, we've always said it in sport, this, this, this fine line between success and, and failure. I'm not going to call it failure, Tamar. I'm just going to say, listen, one run short, did you think you'd even get that many? Well, not after the way that I, uh, I performed in, in the match against Poran, but... Um... Yeah, a bit disappointed to not, not get a couple off the last ball. OK, but, you know, 14 there, two maximums. Great stuff. That will give you the confidence, I guess, uh, uh, going into the match uh, to try and hit the same amount of, of, of runs. Uh, do you feel confident after that challenge that you can go into the match and potentially uh, win it? Oh, a little bit. Um, you know, obviously a little bit more variable than, than uh, just facing one over. But, um, yeah, no, boys are... Boys are striking them all right, Jason and Jason Roy in particular. Yeah, two lovely maxmans. And just such a shame at the end, you tried. It was green, wasn't it, Mark? And it was just that opportunity, Good just length. two runs needed. Good length. It's difficult to get away, but yeah, difficult to get that final ball away. It was a decent delivery, but as I say, just one short. It's got to be heartbreaking, right? It's got to be heartbreaking to get that close. Uh, listen, uh, Tamar, do you, you enjoy the challenge? Do you think it's a little bit too difficult? Does Mark need to change it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good, obviously. Well, I, I managed to draw level with it, so it wasn't... It was obviously uh, wasn't too hard, wasn't too easy. You got you got you got to um, you got to execute well enough. So um, yeah, hopefully if I did it again, I'd I'd uh, I'd, I'd, I'd manage to complete it. All right. Well, listen, Tamar, I'll, I'll let you rest up for a second. Thank you very much for taking part in that challenge. Uh, unsuccessful, Mark. But Thanks, hey, sir. listen, he attempted it. Just one run short. It could have been so different. He just needed to make good contact with that final delivery. The field was up. Everything was, you know, set up for success for him. But it's, it's more difficult than it sounds, right? When the pressure's on, you've only got one ball remaining. You've got to make it work. And as you say, he wanted to, to complete the challenge. He just couldn't execute on that final ball. And that's what it comes down to. Six balls, you've got to be good with all of them, not just a few. So there you go. Thank you very much, Mark. Yes, uh, Tamar Mills fails in the challenge. However, he's still got a chance to get victory in today's game. We'll find out if he can do it when we return. Welcome back to the Betway E Cricket Challenge, where I have just witnessed, and you did as well, a staggering 50 scored for Nicholas Puran. Will it be enough to beat Tamar Mills? We'll head back to the action to find out. So straight into the game here. No actually about the first ball of the innings. And Nicholas Puran with the perfect start. You can see the reaction. <laughs> oh, you can't ask for chance. a better start in the game than taking a wicket off the first ball. You can oh, see Jay Tamar a little bit late on that one, just oh, pops it up sick. to cover, and that's a little bit of a soft dismissal, you have yeah. to say. Come on, Jason Roy. <laughs> you can't be slashing at that. There was a salute and a full bat there from that Nicholas. That is a full send-off, is what that is. That is getting <laughs> rid of Jason Roy early. <laughs> if there's one man to come to the exactly. crease, to steady the ship, it's, of course, Ben Stokes. I mean, one of the greatest summers of his life just a short time ago was some of the things that he achieved. But, I mean, oh, first wow. wicket Ooh. off the first ball. <laughs> and that, that is not going to get the job done. That's the nicest thing I can say about that. That is the widest wide I think we've seen in the Betway E Cricket Challenge. A few, more of them. A few more of them, please, Nikki. The first one is a bit lucky, yeah? Let me see. So let's see if we can land somewhere in the middle of that now. <laughs> a wicket or a wide. That's a little bit of a better ball. And, ooh, I just need back that? at the last second again. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment on the faces of the West Indian fielders. You can see that after the little play and miss there. But the problem is, with such a big total and so few balls left, every single ball that you're not scoring runs off just adds more pressure. That's what we mean by runs on the board. Oh, he's... There's a okay. shot. Okay. Has it cleared the field? That's out. No, it uh... has not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Barry. Two wickets inside the first over. <laughs> Celebrating. And another send-off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Scotty. Oh, what you keep up? This is not good. <laughs> Oh, you, can, you can hear yeah, it. Tamal, this is not safe. good. Um, it Thank can you, only Mark. get better, is the only way, thing I can think of here. <laughs> We've seen how quickly the game can change with just a few shots. Oh, oh, and now a 
I see in the nine <laughs> games. A couple of send-offs, the mind games, and I've got to say, I've had to take it off here to Nicholas. He's Ooh. definitely probably one of the players. Look at this haircut. Uh, What's that haircut? Of the head of his opponent the most so far. <laughs> definitely no the idea, buddy. as well. What is good, though, to know for Tamar is the fact that he has scored five runs. That's a dreadful wide. Yeah, make that six runs. <laughs> <laughs> I've not scored any runs. Even though there are six. Oh, that is a tash. That, that is a tash. Who's that in there? I'm some guy. Right then, 45 needed from 25. One ball left in the first over. And again, just going to pull up. A little bit lame here. I'm probably <laughs> had a lot of work to do. I think he's injured. He's injured. <laughs> Not sure if the umpire's ready for a night out in the town with the amount of moves that we're seeing from him at the moment. <laughs> It's like uh, the umpire's version of flossing. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be pulled up again. And it looks like at the moment, Nicholas, I have to say, mate, may maybe the batting the stronger suit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at this bowling. This first two wickets was lucky. All right, let me try this one more time. So we're struggling at the moment, Tom, to get the ball. So, so what's the what, are we watching? <laughs> what are we watching here? How, so do how, I, when I see the arrow, it's pointing down, right? So what you got to do is basically yeah. pull Point back and right. flick up again with the stick. I mean, it's different ways you can have different controls set up. You have to imagine it's almost mimicking right, cool. a bowler's Mind's action. Mind you, right? have so press, got, you have to press the button. Arm and up, arm coil, down. as we were taught in, in our age, or back foot contact, and then front gotcha. foot contact, and then the ball comes through. So as close as you can get to you on a, on a pad <laughs> is essentially what uh, we're trying to do here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got him. Mind just for a second, we can't wait for the action for two seconds. It's all worked out, and it is going to be a run out. Oh my, you got you so got now to the Mills. Yeah? Oh, you can see he's just double pressed the run button there and not being able to get back in time. Left his crease, and you have to say, great work there for oh. the bowler to be alert to the situation and whip those Love bails that. off. One over, this is gonna be the quickest three game wickets. <laughs> I'll pull that right stick back and then flick it up. There we go. And when he gets oh. it right, boy, does he get it right. <laughs> what a rule that is. Come on, big guy. Got that ball shipping him. <laughs> it, the, the brilliant thing about this bowling performance here from Nicholas Puran is it is one into the other right. It is absolutely dreadful <laughs> or it is absolutely brilliant. It's one of the two. <laughs> but you know what? At this rate, this four wickets down. Mate. One more wicket and I'm done. So now we need the miracle right. innings from one player. One wicket left in the game. Seven runs on the board. Oh, come on, no. Dave, Dave, that's going to be a wide. That's going to be a wide. So we've got more runs on the board. Just make sure you stay. Have I scored a run off the bat? I don't think I have. Not by my recollection. I don't think there has been a run off the bat. But maybe you know, one. We'll keep, we'll keep that. We won't, we won't talk about that too much. We'll, but we will, we will definitely celebrate if there is one. Wait on. Lovely high elbow there on the strike. See, now we're seeing this is some classical <laughs> shots. Get yourself in. Put the big shots away for a little bit. Work it off the hip. I've got to try and, I've got to try and bat out the overs. <laughs> Just block. Just block for four Come on, big guy. <laughs> 43 from 22. One wicket remaining. Goes for the short ball. Ah, oh, yes. Right. That's what right I want to see. Five over game. Five day game. Right on. What's the difference? Uh, it's a test match now. <laughs> <laughs> test match. See the shine off the new ball. Come on, Moeen. Ali, the man on strike, dug in. Oh, he's gone for the big shot. And that oh, is, ladies and gentlemen, runs off the bat. Four? That is runs off the bat. That's what we wanted. That is, is that what four? we were waiting for. Ah, Moeen can play the short ball well in the game as well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing that I love. Uh, when we first chatted to both of our competitors today, they are a bit hesitant, a bit sort of, you know, like, well, I'll, I'll do my talking in my, my game time and when I'm playing. But the competitive edge from both of these guys has really come out, and it is great to see. Come it doesn't on, matter guys. where you're, you're playing, fit. Come on, big guy. that comes out for them. Yeah, <laughs> of course it does. You know, whether it's, you know, who can walk down to the shops the quickest. I'm sure these <laughs> two would be, you know, definitely trying to cheat. There would be, uh, you know, everyone trying to get an advantage. It's just natural for international sportsmen to be at that level nice, nice, of competitiveness. Nice. And it took one shot from Moeen Ali. Ooh. Sip of the drink. 
four runs. The batting or the batting order is sent wrong. Down to mid on, just clears the field. Oh, that was almost, what, almost caught. Tom, do you believe in miracles? Come on, shoot for you. I tell you what, the oh, run rate isn't not. crazy. The run rate is still very doable. It's the wickets that's the issue. 35 needed from 19. Dug in oh, and my, that's some good Only 88, come on, buddy. It's low. <laughs> <laughs> no ball, thank you. I'm far too high. Free hit as free well. Hit, thank you. So one run on the board. For the no ball, plus the free hit. We're going to see a little bit of a fielding change. You going more defensive here? Going to put everyone back? Nerves kicking in. <laughs> yeah, it's an exciting bit of the match now. And um, Moen Ali, he knows how to hit the balls. Is that going to go all the way, Mark? Uh, not quite. The fielder manages to cut that off, but it's runs off the bat and it's runs on the board. So that's the important thing here for England to get those runs on the board. And, and it looks at the moment like Nicholas is putting a few men back straight to try and potentially just lob one up and see if he wants to hit it up in the air. Ooh, swing and a miss there, Mark. Swing and a miss, just wide of the off stump and didn't make contact on that one. So pressure really on now, running out of balls, 32 needed from 17. And Alex Hales on strike here. As the bowler comes in again, that's going to be a nice full ball. And again, Ooh. it's a swing and a miss and nothing but air at the moment. Yeah, you've, you need to start hitting the ball. Uh, you're going to have to start going for some maximums. I know he's got time, but now's the time to do it. And that ball's going to be short of a length and it's popped oh! off. Has he managed to get it over the top? The fielder's desperately trying to get round. And oh, what a take that is. And that is going to be the end of the game. Yeah! The final wicket does fall. Ah, oh, look at that, Mark. We love to see it. Look at the celebrations uh, from Nicholas. Much like he did after every single boundary or wicket or run that he scored. So, you know, it's to be expected. You know, Nicholas putting on a show for us today. Yeah, and uh, tomorrow you can see there the hoodie is up. The hood is over his face. He is not happy at all with that. Yeah, got it. I think, uh, you know, he would have thought, oh, I'm going to have a real opportunity today. You know, I've played a bit of the game before, but he's been outclassed. That's the difficulty, isn't it? He's been outclassed. And I think it showed there. Unfortunately for him, he has to uh, hold the loss on this occasion. Tomorrow, he was showboating and celebrating with every wicket. I don't remember you doing that. Did you feel like that was a little bit unsportsmanlike <laughs> for me? <laughs> no, maybe he, he was obviously up, up for it. I needed to, to find a, a little bit more... Uh, emotion within, maybe. That was maybe my uh, my downfall today. Yeah, and um, I, I felt like sometimes, I mean, that last shot, I was rooting for you. you you'd lost four wickets, you're on 19 runs, the start of that um, third over, and then you just hit that shot. I thought you'd made it. Did I you think you'd made I it? I thought he cleared the man. Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd hit it for six. But um, just like the others, unfortunately, maybe the boys need to get some, some better bats and, or maybe hit the gym a bit more so they can actually hit the, hit, hit the boundaries. Uh, indeed. And, and that run out, I think that was probably the turning point for you. Uh, hesitation from the batsman. It's the killer of every batsman, isn't it? Hesitation. It, yeah, of course it is. It's so difficult, especially when you're in game and, you know, you, you think you can you know, maybe sneak a run and then you cancel your decision and because of the animations, it, it gets a bit weird and it's, it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, no. What have they done in that situation? And run-outs, they cost you. They cost <laughs> yeah. you in this game. Did you, did you think, tomorrow maybe you lost a wicket with the first ball. This wasn't going to be your day. Did you ever give up hope at that point? Um, you, never, you never give up hope. But, um, yeah, as you say, that, that first over put me, put me under a bit of, bit of pressure. I probably should have maybe played a bit more conservatively from there to try and, you know, take it a bit deeper. But, um, hey-ho, we live in, we live in love. All right, well, listen, I've got to say uh, thank you very much to Mal uh, Mills for, for, for taking part in that challenge and also uh, to Nicholas uh, as well. Uh, thank you very much for your well time. Well played, Boran. Thank there, you, buddy. There you go, sportsmanship <laughs> right at the end. A little bit of a laugh. Um, Tamar's not feeling very happy about that at all. Yeah, that hood went up really, very, very quickly <laughs> at the end of that game just to kind of hide away and, you know, think, reflect on what just happened because uh, it was a collapse uh, at the start of the innings. And, you know, you've got to put yep. in, like I say, in practices you do in real life into the virtual game as well. You have to get your batsmen in in order to increase the percentage of the chance they're going to be able to hit the ball over the boundary as they get in a little bit more. So take your time a little bit, but what a batting performance. I think the game was won there at the start from Nicholas Puran. You know, 50 runs on the board, 10 and over, uh, having apparently never played the game before.
questionable. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll have to see about that. But yeah, uh, a huge score, and that just put the pressure straight on to Miles straight away. Uh, it's difficult to come back from that, especially when you're losing wickets early on. Indeed. Well, listen, guys, uh, congratulations uh, to Nicholas Puran uh, for getting that win. When we come back, we'll have more analysis. Plus, we'll have players taking on our player challenge. Welcome back to the Betway E Cricket Challenge, where a very animated Nicholas Puran dispatched Tamar Mills first with some brutal batting and then some canny bowling, eventually winning by 31 runs. With the game done and dusted, could he also conquer our player challenge? Here we go then, Mark. The challenge that you set, oh, 15 my. runs from six tricky. balls. And that is a dot ball to start, not the way you want to get into this challenge. Yeah, it's a tough challenge, but it, as I say, it's a challenge for a reason. And the way that Nicholas has batted so far, there's a real opportunity for him uh -huh. to do that. But two dot balls on the bounce here is going to mean there's pressure on this third ball. Surely on, this ready. ball has to clear the boundary. Come on, Evan. Come on, so there's the ball in again, tries to work it off his hip, but that one's going to be another yeah. dot ball. Sharma is deadly as a bowler. He's electric. Just that swing is coming in. So 15 needed off three balls. Still doable, but needs boundaries. And oh, that's just going to hit the body. And they managed to steal three, four. A single just about. He's off the mark. Oh. Goes to the, uh, to the umpire. And it's actually been given out short of his ground. So great work from the fielders. And that looks like Nicholas might be struggling to complete this one. He's going to need a wide or a no ball, some extras. <laughs> and that's what it means. Face their first ball. So can you finish with some fireworks here? Sharma in. Does get hold of one. Is he going to get it past the man, though? Does get a boundary on the board. So there's four runs onto the total. Now we just got to hope that Sharma oversteps. He's not been known to overstep the mark, quite literally. So this is going to be a challenge. But to end on a six would be pretty spectacular stuff here after this start he's had. Well, it's in the slot, and he has gone for the shot, and it's just going to, unfortunately for him, sort of fall into the hands of mid-off. So Sean unfortunately, at the well end of one over. over, the challenge is not complete, but runs on the board there. So a good effort there from Nicholas. Unfortunately, he won't be completing what is an incredibly tough challenge. Uh, Nicholas, I have to say, you look shell-shocked uh, at that challenge. How difficult was that? Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't assess, man. Simple. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't execute my plan. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, can you uh, reveal your plan? What was your plan? O obviously to hit boundaries, but, and score 15 runs, but what, what, what went wrong? No, I saw I saw his feel, so I was thinking, you know, short ball, and I came onto my front foot. I don't know why. I just missed a couple. I think I went wrong there. Ah, oh, well, listen, I tell you what. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm getting more of a view of your house <laughs> at the moment, Nicholas. <laughs> your, your, your energy as someone who has just not completed the challenge is just, I don't want to think about it anymore. But I tell you what, Nicholas, uh, you did a great job. You scored some runs. Scored some runs. Uh, was it ever in doubt? Once you'd been run out and you still hadn't scored a run, were you worried you wouldn't get any runs on the board? I, I, I was actually thinking about that super over I missed when I was 18 years. And I didn't want another super over in this game. <laughs> 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 so I was just trying to get on to another end, <laughs> to be honest. Well, listen, I uh, scored five runs, lost one wicket. Unfortunately, you failed in the challenge. Uh, but congratulations, you still take that victory over Tamar Mills. So congratulations. Have you enjoyed being part of the Betway E Cricket Challenge? <laughs> That's it. He is, Mark. He's Mark, he's happy with it. He's of course. He's yeah. got the win, right? He's got the win. That's all that matters. That's all that occurs. He, he didn't even need any more words. I've talked about uh, the our own challenge, and then that's enough <laughs> as far as he's <laughs> concerned. Uh, so there you have it. Took part in the challenge. Um, what do you make of that? 
I mean, it wasn't the best effort we've ever seen, but it's interesting that he, kept, he tried to come up with a plan, right? He said he saw the field and thought that that meant that he's going to try and bowl a short ball. He's man, man back on the leg side boundary, so he sort of set himself up, premeditated a few shots. Can't be doing that. It's like real life, right? You've got to play the ball on merit, and uh, it is tough. It is really tough, we have to say, the challenge. And uh, I just wonder if anyone's going to do it. That's the question, you know, can well, it be done? Well, as long as they don't take on India, Sharma seems to be just unplayable at times, uh, and especially seeing as you need to get uh, the scores from that first ball. Well, listen, uh, Mark, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, have you enjoyed today? Of course, of course. It's been a lot of fun, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to having the opportunity to do it again and to see some of the best in the world do it on the virtual pitch. Well, listen, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the Betway E Cricket Challenge. That's all we have time for. Uh, a massive thank you to Nicholas Puran and to Tamar Mills for taking part today. We'll be back very soon with more cricketers taking each other on in the virtual world. Until then, uh, stay safe and we'll see you soon. And it's raining sixes in this game. <laughs> so that's run away from yeah, four runs. But it's gone straight to the man and again, the change of pace. Was that poor at first ball? And it's going absolutely miles again. He's put it out of the ground. What a ball that is.